Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Naughty Llama here, and I've got some uh, some franchise mode, and as you can see, uh, we're uh, nine and a half back in my uh, division there, and then St. Louis, I think it's three and a half up on me, let me see, uh, see where the wild card stands are, there you can see, uh, nine and a half back from the Reds for uh, first place in the central, and then I, uh, I'm three and a half back from the uh, Cardinals there for the wild card, so uh, as you can see on my schedule, I think I, uh, game plays up now, but... I simulated about a week and a half to get to the uh, Cardinals series here, and this was a series I needed to take because uh, I was eight and a half or nine back from the Reds at this point, and then three and a half back from the Cardinals, so I uh, really didn't want to lose this series. Uh, I'm pitching a AJ Burnett here, as you can see. Uh, he's really not the best pitcher for the uh, Pirates. Um, I mean, they acquired him from uh, the Yankees this year. I think they're only paying like a quarter of his salary. The Yankees uh, ate up the majority of his salary just to get rid of him, so uh, he's not really the best. Uh, he's kind of older, too, but... Um, He's still pretty good. The only thing about him in this game, um, he can only go about like 90 to 95 pitches deep into a game, and then his uh, his control and stuff just completely drops off. So uh, I'm using him, and I actually get a pretty good game with him there. I'm using I'm wearing my uh, yellow jerseys here, which I think are the uh, spring training ones. Actually, I just uh, wouldn't wear something else besides uh, the white and black ones. I was getting a little bored of looking at those, so uh, wearing the, uh, the yellow ones here. And here I get a base hit up to center with Jose Batista, who's actually been pretty good for me so far because I traded a uh, Traded McCutcheon for him. I don't know McCutcheon is like the uh, Pirates franchise player, but um, I don't know, Batista's got like 30 something home runs and like 60 or 70 RBIs. So, uh, got Neil Walker up fourth, who's actually hit uh, 25 home runs, as you can see in the little stats, like right before he came up. And here I get a nice uh, double over Beltran's head into right field, and that'll score, uh, score Batista all the way from first, and then I'll put Walker on second. So, I get a uh, nice little RBI there in the bottom of the first inning, which is uh, it's always good to get a little. Uh, a little cushion at the beginning of the game so you can feel a little more comfortable. And here I got my, uh, my backup catcher, Jose Morales, up. I get a uh, base hit to third as the uh, third baseman dives and can't make the play. So I'll hold Walker on third because I really uh, didn't want to risk it. I think if I would have went the uh, left fielder or the threw him out there. So got uh, Casey McGee up, who's my third baseman, and he pops up to deep left. And uh, there's the out for the final out. So uh, I strand two runners, but I do get one run in the first inning, which is pretty... Uh, Pretty nice, and here I'm starting to pitch again. Um, we got Burnett here, and they've got a uh, they've got a runner in scoring position. As you can see, they got a guy on second, and they've got um, two outs. So just wanted to try to get this out here. Um, and their uh, their hitter grounds out to uh, to Walker at second, so uh, that'll uh, that'll end that inning, and I'll get get out of that. Uh, luckily, so they can't score the run. Um, in the top of the sixth here, I think uh, Burnett's pitching really good so far. Here you can see I got a full count on this guy, and I was trying to go for a strikeout. Um, Throw a chair or a curveball actually, and then I'll get him looking. So uh, I'm surprised that curveball went in. Which uh, one thing in this game, like if you're using uh, the umpire thing, there's uh, 11 or 12 different umpires in this game instead of just whatever was in the uh, the last year. So um, they call each play differently. You can set this off if you don't want to, but um, their strike zone and like ball thing, whatever it's called, I don't know. Their strike zone it's completely different for each umpire. So uh, some calls that might be a strike with some umpires or uh, or balls with other umpires. So uh, you can turn it off if you don't like it in the uh, settings because it's a little annoying sometimes. But I don't know. I kind of like it because it's uh it's like in real life too. Umpires really don't make the best calls, which um I don't know. For like if you ever watch baseball, the uh, you can see the umpires clearly screw up a call and they have the little computer things ca which can show uh precisely where the ball went. And they have this pop up like two seconds after the pitch is thrown. So I really don't know why they just don't go to those in real life and then just switch to the umpires for making like uh, crucial uh, plays or crucial calls and stuff so uh, get back to the gameplay here they've got um what do they get one out here in the top of the seventh they got Berkman out who's a uh, pretty good pretty good player he uh he can hit he's got a lot of power and stuff so he can hit, hit one out of here I don't know what I'm saying I'm kind of stuttering here but um I get him to ground out to second with a uh, with a low fastball there so that's uh it's two outs in the inning, and um, let me see who they get up next here. They've got uh, Yadier Molina, who's a pretty good catcher. I saw, uh, I think they just re-signed him like a couple weeks ago, so um, he got a lot of money, too. He got like 75 million bucks, I think, which is uh, grab a lot of money for a catcher and stuff, and um, just trying to get him out there. You can see I threw a fastball, which drops out for a ball, and I'm just throwing things uh, on the outside corners, trying to get him to chase something. There's another, uh, another ball there, and... Um, let me see. I don't, I don't know if I get him out or if he gets a base hit here. I forget what happened. Um, there's a 3-1 uh, count, so I wanted to throw something inside. I think he actually hits this here. I go for a, uh, throw a curveball here, and, uh, and it's a base hit in the left field, which um, I don't know. My fielding's not that good. I had McClough in this game, but he got injured, so he's. I think he's going to be out for the rest of the season, so I was playing uh, 
I think I was playing Garrett Jones in the outfield um, for my left field, and I was playing Presley in the right field, and uh, Jose Batista's on first base instead of center er, instead of right field, which they had him at in this game, because uh, he really doesn't have uh, that much speed and stuff, so I'd rather keep him in the infield. And then uh, second baseman's Walker, third baseman is, uh, I think his name is McGee. He played for, um, played for Milwaukee last year, and the Pirates traded him for a, a relief pitcher this year, so... Here they got two on. Um, I get the guy to go round out to third there to, uh, to end the inning, so that's pretty good. I strand two base runners there. Get a little lucky. Um, here at the top of the eighth half, um, you can see they got Carlos Beltran up, and it says A.J. Burnett's getting tired. So uh, his control kind of drops off once pitchers get tired. I get one of my relief pitchers warm, as you can see, and I forget how long. I don't think Burnett finishes this inning. Uh, there I get the nice little uh, ground out to shortstop for the first out. Um, and I don't know if I bring in a relief pitcher here or not. They've got um, someone else up. I don't know what this dude's name is. And then I've got uh, I got my setup man, Meek Warm, in the bullpen. So I think I actually bring him in, bring him in here in a second or two. I'm not completely sure. Uh, yeah, they get a base hit there. There's a shortstop. I tried to dive for it, but I couldn't get in. So uh, they'll get a runner on here. And um, let me see if I bring in a relief pitcher or not. They get David Freeze up. And there you can see uh, Burnett's gone 95 pitches already, and he has, like, no, uh, no energy left. So I bring in... Uh, Bring in Meek into the game. I'm gonna to try to uh, try to end the inning with him and try to strand that runner at first there. So uh, throw a fastball. Freeze it. Hit, freeze hits it pretty deep, but um, center fielder gets to it. So the uh, the runner will have to go back to first base there. Get a little lucky because I think that's like the deepest part of the uh, ballpark here. If it was over to the right a little bit, it might have uh, might have bounced off the wall there for a double or something. So get him out. Um, next hitter is out. The first pitch is uh, fouled off. I think that was a cutter I threw. So. Um, Trying to throw balls like at the bottom corner and stuff. I don't want to put one up high or one in the middle for him to hit really deep. So, um, you know, just being really careful with my pitches here. That's a pretty deep hit, but uh, my right fielder Presley is able to play it. So that'll end the inning. We uh, get out of that one pretty lucky there that they didn't uh, score because they had some deep hits. And uh, I think I fast forward the uh, the eighth inning here. So in the ninth, I've got um, got my closer Hanrahan in, and they got a pretty good spot in their lineup. Up as you can see, Holiday hits the. Uh, so I think it's the first pitch I throw, and it's a, a deep ball, but it's out, like, right at the wall. So uh, get a little lucky there. A little bit harder, and that might have been a home run. Um, they got Berkman up here, who's always a, always a home run throw every time he's up. So I'm trying to throw balls on the corner here. And uh, one thing I noticed in this game, in real life, Hanrahan can throw, like, 97, 98 miles an hour. In this game, he throws, like, 93, 94, which is a little, uh, little weird. I don't know why they don't have his, like, real stats in there, because he's a pretty, uh, pretty powerful thrower. But, um... Throwing balls here, and they're going, uh, they're going out for balls there in the corner, as you can see. Which uh, get a uh, get a fastball in there for a strike as I throw that past them. And I think here I try to throw a change up up high, and uh, luckily my uh, my outfielder gets to that just in time. If he would uh, if he would have missed it, that, that would have probably been a double. So getting a little lucky here. And then uh, their final batter is up here, who is uh, Yadier, Mar Yadier Molina. Um, trying to strike him out here. I'm not sure if I do or not. Um, you see him throwing a two-seam fastball up high there. He's, uh, he fells that one off, so it's an 0-2 count. So uh, I just want to throw things really low and try to get him to chase outside the strike zone here. Um, or not, I guess I threw a change up right in there, which uh, they look like it was a strike, but for some reason they called that a ball. So that's uh, kind of annoying. And then I get him looking at a uh, little low fastball there. So we uh, win this game, and that uh, cuts down the Cardinals' lead for the wild card, which is pretty good, and that keeps us up there... Uh, in contention for the division with uh, with St. Louis and uh, Cincinnati, which uh, I'm surprised Cincinnati's so good in this game. I didn't think they had that great of a roster, and St. Louis and Milwaukee was pretty good. Um, you can see my player of the game is uh, A.J. Burnett. Um, let me see its stats once it comes up here. Um, let me see. Yeah, so he throws uh, seven and a third innings, uh, seven hits allowed, uh, no earned runs, and uh, six strikeouts. It's a pretty good game for uh, A.J. Burnett. And here's you can see I am... Uh, Eight games back from first place against Cincinnati, and um, let me see if it wants to show the wild card standing or not here. Um, I think I'm two out from the wild card. Let me see. Um, yeah, I'm two games out from the wild card from uh, Ari or uh, from St. Louis, and I'm tied with uh, tied with Arizona there with two games out. So we got a pretty uh, pretty good playoff race here. So uh, that's it, guys. Um, if you enjoy the video and you're not subscribed, uh, click the annotation on the screen. It'll take you to my channel where you can watch more videos. So. Uh, that's it. Peace.